Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. And in the last episode, guys, we decided to take a trip to the past. We are heading south of Blackwater and exploring all of this terrain from the first Red Dead game. We had a lovely time in Thieves' Landing, uh, finding that the settlement was filled with riffraff and not the decent kind from Red Dead 1, and we had to kill all of them. So we went ahead and cleared that area out. The Lobo Gang, I believe that they were called. I'm sure they'll be back, but we are over here at Stillwater Creek, and one of the things I wanted to check out here was this shack. Because in the first Red Dead game, there is an old gentleman, um, I believe in this house, you have found a legendary fish location, oh. who basically sets John upon gathering herbs from all over the countryside for his lovely wife. And it's definitely one of the more interesting quests in the original game, so... I believe this is the place. Hello? I see a fishing pole and a birdcage, a rocking chair. Can we... looks like we may be able to actually... yes indeed. And no. Okay, this may not be the place. Is there anything that we can loot? Ooh, aged pirate rum. Yes, please. Okay, this might be in happier times. Not sure. Are there any other shacks here in the area? Let's check the map here. Yeah, I think that might be the location. I don't see any other dwellings. Stillwater cabin, yeah. Okay, well, it was worth a shot. Maybe they are out and about doing things. Maybe gathering flowers themselves. Let's go ahead and call Rachel, and I figure now we can travel over to the McFarlane Ranch, guys. If we were able to, like, Come talk on, to man. Bonnie and all that, that'd be crazy. And a little bit story-breaking, because... John and Bonnie meet at the beginning of Red Dead 1. But we do have that letter that we got way, way back when Arthur checked that corpse, or a supposed corpse, on the shores of the big river, or ocean. I forgot where that exactly was. But McFarland's ranch is right there, and there's a, uh... Oh, the train station! Neat, so we have kind of a fast travel point. The thing about it is, is I'm trying to see if there's any shacks or... Okay. We'll just... We'll just play it by ear. Today is going to be a day of exploration, my friends. It's like I remember that bridge. And maybe we'll go talk to old man McFarlane. He may not recognize us. I'm also curious if random stuff happens on this trail the same way that it does. Well, we did see all those arrows, that arrow riddle, riddled uh, wagon right out of Blackwater. So maybe we'll have a different type of random events here. Oh, easy there, sir. So that's the drop-off. I think the lake is down that way. Let's go ahead and turn. And it looks like McFarland's Ranch is still the very large facility that we remember. Is the general Oh, there's the McFarland house. Holy crap. Oh wow, he's over here now. Gavin. Where the hell are you? Poor guy. Mr. McFarlane. Must not be home. And I, I completely understand why we can't go into the house though. Gavin. Now I believe our bunkhouse. Oh. Is right here where this lady is. 
Hello, lady. This becomes one of my bases here soon. Hey there, miss. You're like a fine statue, lady. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't even look like there's a general store. I wonder if there are any stores in this area or if it's just kind of a... Like a, hey, look at all these areas from Red Dead 1. Okay, hope you had fun. I do plan to be having fun. I want to head to Armadillo because we read that, uh, oh, the stagecoach. Nice. That there was some sort of, uh, like, cholera outbreak? So that should be fairly interesting. So we do have this explored. And we can take a ride if we want. Okay. Just wanted to look at that to make sure All right, girl. that we could use it again. It doesn't look like we have a rail station. I'm trying to remember from Red Dead 1 if there were any kind of like little shacks. The only one I can remember is the abandoned one that we basically have to buy and then sell to a guy who is there on the mesa. Like, there were all these little town. I remember there was a really big... There was a really big town that looked abandoned. I think it was... Tumbleweed. It was called Tumbleweed. I do remember that. Maybe we'll get to see it in its prime. Because it was very much a ghost town in Red Dead 1. It's so pretty. I'll tell you what, one thing I really like about Rockstar is the fact that they they don't put plot in DLC. All the DLC for GTA 5 for the most part, it's been storyline based, but it's been revolving around online. They didn't like, hey, if you want to listen to the rest of Trevor and Michael and you know all of their stories, go ahead and wait for this DLC. Like the exact opposite of what Kingdom Come Deliverance did. Which, that game... Re oh. This game. Okay. Um, what Kingdom Come Deliverance did. With the, hey, you only get part of the story. Now you're going to have to wait for all the DLC to get to the end of it. Rockstar's pretty much like, hey, here's the entire freaking game. Enjoy. Definitely worth the price of admission. It'd be kind of freaky, but if John met, uh, like that's Slate Don Julio over there. I only remember that. Yeah, here's the bluff where we talk to the guy about buying the, the property. I think that also over here is where we met the mysterious man as well for the first time. It would have been really cool had we actually Evening. seen like the start of that, maybe with Arthur. That would have been creepy. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about with the mysterious man, um, watch my playthrough of Red Dead 1. It's probably, we've seen a lot of kind of supernatural based things in this game, but there's not a whole lot of it in the first Red Dead, but there is a, a stranger storyline. And it is, it's fairly interesting, let's say. Oh my god, this is gorgeous. And an autosave would mean something's random's about to happen. Hey, what? Oh, okay. We are about to uh, get into a scrap, it seems. Now... This is where I kind of expect to run into a... ...gang called the Lobos. Holy crap, Armadillo's on fire! Oh, 
Oh, and Rachel took some, took a few shots. Bells, bells, what happened? Yeah. Okay, there's... There's stuff happening. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Lawman... Oh, there's dead bodies. We're here, Sheriff. And we got the money. You're gonna bring it... I think we just, uh... Oh. Back off, okay? We got some business with the... If it wasn't for you, sir, if it wasn't for you, whoo how lucky we are. The hero we so required. Armadillo is indebted to you, though I fear it may be beyond saving. Yeah, cholera. I don't know what you made of that, but it was a close thing. And in light of that, and the sad demise of this settlement, I am resigning my post. Now you will see that I packed my valise. But the accoutrements of my profession remain in my desk. Okay. It's very dark in here. Do we have a lantern? Please let there not be a bear in here. I don't have a lantern. Okay. Um, hmm. I could have sworn that I would have one. Wait, hunting knife, two of two. Well, while we're trying to figure out what the heck is going on here, Armadillo has definitely seen better days. You didn't hear the Marshal talk about this in the first game. Looks like these Lobos are bad business. Okay, Rachel, I know you got a little bit of chin music. We're going to go ahead and take care of that. There you go. Feel better? Fine, Philly. And we're almost up to our max level of attachment with Rachel, which is great. Here, we're going to go ahead and lead her to a post and explore the town a little bit here in the middle of the night because that's, you know, smart. There's a hitch post right here. Now, can we grab a horse cargo, right? L2, remove saddle, show info, what to... There we go. Now, that's a schoolhouse where we used to watch the educational films. A letter resign. Okay, someone's talking. And I think it's probably going to be best to just hang on to this lantern in case anyone decides to Hi. Ma'am. We don't need any more trouble here. Good call. I'm not looking for any trouble. I don't know if you're infected either, so... I wonder if that racist guy is still here in town. Doggy! There's a town crier. Oh, there's a, the general store is still here. All right, cool. Plague. 
Saloon? Got plague in town. Plague back in town. How's it going? Partner. Hey, friend. Place is full of cholera. Head in there at your own peril. Well, half the town has died, and most of the rest have fled. Still? Sure. A few years ago, it was the Scarlet Fever. Then it was the Desert Plague. Then Typhus. Now the cholera. Bad business. Some folks say the whole town is cursed. All town's got cholera! Here, <laughs> read for yourself. Sure. Thank you. You're going to give me cholera now, aren't you? By grabbing that pamphlet. I don't know how cholera is transferred, but I guess I'll probably want to read up on it after I'm done recording. Notice, Armadillo Town Citizens. I'm almost certainly contaminated. Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on. We will go ahead and move this way before heading into the saloon. Published by order of the New Austin Sanitary Committee. Do not drink any water which has not been previously been boiled. Avoid consumption of fruits, beans, and vegetables. Drink spirits in moderation. Only smoke good and clean tobacco. Remove socks and boots while sleeping. Refrain from sharing bath water with others, even family members. Attend immediately to disorders of the bowel. Defecate neatly and away from common living areas. Well, the saloon doesn't seem lively, except for this gentleman who was taking a pee right there. Hello. Get yourself oh, in off the street. Sick again. Place is sick. Uh, Here Mister. Now. Stranger. Hmm. Saw a woman clutching her youngest to herself, just walking off into the desert. I figured the kid was dead, but the way things are, who knows? Yeah, it sounds like typical for this area. There was all kinds of bad business previously. Well, I see some doors we may be able to go into. No? I had a lady in here, a mother begging for free stuff. Sure Miss? No. Hello. Whew. Maybe John will be very happy the next time he's... Well, he won't be happy, but it's definitely going to be in a better shape than what it was when he starts here in Red Dead 1. Anything else we need to be aware of? Howdy, mister. Hello, mister. Oh, here's the station. For the railroad. Ladies? Hi, miss. Oh, hi. Hi there. Hello. Everyone just finding a place to sleep. Hey, mister. Feller? Ugh. It's like, we are just, we're just a few dead bodies away from undead nightmare territory. Does the train stump still come through here, though? I would like to think so. Just a bunch of sick, upset people. Wait, let's head up the water tower. Kind of get a more aerial view. Because we need to check out the... We need to check out that the school. And we need to check out the church. I think they may have mentioned cholera in the first game, but not a whole lot. Tell you what, guys. Very few things are prettier than the desert at night. You can take that from a desert dweller. Like, not a big fan of the desert during the day, but at night, if the temperature is just right, oh, that's good stuff. Well, I'm curious to go into the... Sh Ooh. What's going on here? Honey, honey, someone's coming. Look. 
Okay, well, I think that should do it. Let's go. We're leaving town. There's a cholera epidemic. I suggest you do the same. Quit. Oh, come on. Let's go. Well, huh. Good luck to you. And you, sir. Stay clear of town. Oh, I've already checked out a good portion of town. Can we go in the doctor's office? Oh, no, when... When there's a cholera <laughs> notice in front of the doctor's office, that's a bad sign. At least the Undertaker is, uh... Having good business. Hey, partner. Mister? <laughs> he says, I'm just waiting for the next customer to roll on in. Okay, let's go ahead and check the schoolhouse. Also find the found the gentleman here who was who loved film. And we can't go in there. Okay, come on, Rachel. Don't run through the... Ra Rachel? Rachel? That if that horse set herself on fire. I'd be like, you know, I still do technically have one horse in the stables. <laughs> I don't want to lose another one. You know who would actually love... Oh, look at that big mass grave. Seth must be in heaven. If he was in the state that he was in the first game. Let's go ahead and eat something to get our dead eye up. We could probably go by Fort Mercer too if we wanted to. Oh. Well, speaking of Seth, we actually met him over here at this church, so. Let us see what's what. Oh, yeah, that's not a church. Oh, okay, the church is over there. Whoops. Then what's over here? <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a lobo. Well, let us start off the morning, right? With some murder. Do we want to go ahead and do this stealthy? We haven't done stealthy in a while. Well, from what I hear is you ain't very nice people. So that means we're going to get along just fine. My lady's lady. Me too. <laughs> ah, they're having their fun, I see. <laughs> Should we interrupt the good time? Passed out in the sand, drunk out of his head. I'm tired Ooh, myself. Well, then we got some catching up to do. I don't like this. Oh. Look for him. Oh, ouch. Oh. Ooh, the nice lady ran away. Smart deal. I'll take that billfold. Premium cigarettes? They were just having a nice time. Who do we who do we get on the card? Bart Love. Take some hair pomade. I lost my hat. Sorted biscuits. We already got potent snake oil. We'll grab our hat here in just one second. 
Wait, was there another billfold? Yeah, there was. Miracle Tonic. Some bourbon. It's been established the Del the Del Lobos are a unsavory sort, so I got no qualms. Ruining their good time. Ground coffee, premium cigs. John is not above that. Alright. Oh, more. Had another billfold. Where was that at? Right there? I saw you. You popped up on my... Oh, there it was. More cigarette cards. Aha! Okay. Now we shall do the looting. Now, Abigail will probably not be particularly happy about this, but to be fair, what is Abigail ever going to be happy about? And there we go. Job well done. Now, can we check the saddlebags here without getting kicked to death? Hello? Please don't kick me. You're going to kick me. Ooh. Dollar thirty-nine, Kentucky bourbon. Easy there, I guess, because they're not. Uh... Oh, I stand corrected. Fine, be that way. So they weren't really irritated at anything. It's a lovely morning, Rachel. Let's go to church. <laughs> Pray for our sins. And the souls of those lobos we just sent to the sweet hereafter. Jesus. Sorry, I'm just... Wow. Just the lighting and everything. I told you guys a long time ago that I was waiting to get to the desert. Not necessarily this desert, but... Easy now. Okay, someone's here. Ooh, someone was here. Uh-oh. Oh, this guy's actually burying the bodies instead hey, of digging whoa. them up. Keep your distance, friend. These bodies ain't safe to be around. What's wrong with them? Aside from being dead. You ain't heard about the cholera plague in Armadillo? Most of the towns either died or up and left. So, why are you burning them? It's what the town folk want. Trying to stop the spread. Terrible business. But lucrative, I have to say. Yeah, I figured. You need some help? I got some Molotovs. Yeah, we can antagonize if we want, but he's just doing his job. Now that the morning's starting to break, we could probably head back into town and see if the shop's open. Oh. Bad business. Guess he's just gonna hang out. Anything in here we can 
grab? No? Oh, I bet that smells absolutely vile. Well, I will... Hey, well, can we... Hey, horsey. I'm going to go ahead and study you real quick. Going to pat you. Please don't kick me. You'll be okay. Yeah. Not a thing in the world wrong. I'm not going to search this guy's saddlebags while he is doing his business. Please don't kick me. Yeah. All right. Well, that happened. Now we still have these ruined buildings over here. This is where we met the old lady looking for her husband. Please, Rockstar, I am begging you. Just re-release Red Dead 1 with this engine. I am... Oh! Time, girl. Yep, that is a rattler. Easy, girl. I just think that that would be a license to print money. That would be a DLC worth actually coming out with. In a New York minute. You got all the voices and everything. Just have to touch stuff up, add in Mexico, and we're good. Okay, well, the town still looks horrible like this, but... Mass graves aplenty. Alright, the general store. Let's see who is here. Because there was an anti-Semite guy in here named um, Moon, I think. A new face. Good to see you, pard. You might as well grab some crackers and biscuits while you're here. The sick people out there haven't been eating, so uh, I have plenty. Huh. Who's that? Uh, I don't know. It's just a little portrait somebody gave me once. I always quite liked it. Why? No reason. Just seemed familiar. Anyway. Oh my I god. I anything in here. Alright, let me... If you need me to read something to you, though. Hold up. I don't want to walk behind the... That okay, I can't use this is a no admittance area. You have to go back. It's the dude. It's a mysterious stranger. Or the strange man. Oh my okay, that's kind of creepy. <laughs> I don't think this is moon. Let's go ahead and browse the catalog. Can we sell any of our stuff too? Provisions. We do need to go to a gun guy, though, for sure. Clean our weapons. Try to keep it together while you're here, all right? You'll regret not buying from me. Actually, that might be him. Yeah, the Lobos are just having their having their way with people. Hey, no one gonna thank me. There's a new sheriff in town. I mean, the bad guys from the Three Amigos. El Wapo and friends. Well, now I'm kind of curious where to go from here, guys. Oh, I shot him right in the eyeball. We could go try Lake Don Julio. Hey, doggy. You're a good dog. Oh, bless your heart. Mangy bloodhound. 
Oh, you're fine, buddy. You've probably seen a lot of nonsense around you. Alright, let's see. Got our armadillo, we got the train station. Venter's place, Coots Chapel. We were right on the... We were near Lake Don Julio. Um... You know what? Let us head to Fort Mercer. See if I remember the way. We do got a... F eh, it looks like there's a campfire there in the distance, but... Fort Mercer is still around. Or it, it probably would be. It's up there on that bluff if memory serves. And then maybe we can ride to Tumbleweed? I think Tumbleweed is relatively close by. Wait, let's look let's look at the map. Not the map, but the signpost. Cooch Chapel, Fort Mercer, Armadillo. Okie doke. Looks like we got some ruins up here. Hey, hey, easy. Old homestead that failed, huh? Anything of interest? I really don't want the roof caving in on me. Hello? Oh. Well, that answers that question. I like, guess this is a pretty country to have a ranch. But I guess when disease hits town and they don't have supplies anymore, it all goes pear shaped. Probably one of those things that um, pick and examine. What do we got here? Oregano. This was someone's place. Two crows. Ah, dust storm. I'm quite familiar with them. Now, one of the more interesting things, guys, is uh, a few days ago I went back to New Mexico, where I'm originally from. And <laughs> the first sign you see when you cross into town, or across the Texas-New Mexico border, is not, um... Oh, holy crap! It is a full-on dust storm. It's not, hey, welcome to New Mexico. It's... If you, if you drive through a dust storm, stop and wait five minutes. It's not worth your life. <laughs> so, I was just like, ah, it's good to be home. And I'm, I'm riding south, aren't I? Yeah, two crows. Fort Mercer's up this way. I'm also kind of curious as to how much of the land is available to visit. Can we actually go to Fort Mercer? Can we... I don't think we can go down to Mexico. I don't think the map actually extended down that south. Whew. You're okay. You're okay, Rachel. Tell you, Rosalina never had to deal with this. Holy crap. Riley's charge. Okay, I'm not exactly sure who Riley is or what his charge is, but I see a box here. Looks like an old, uh, maybe infantry camp? Maybe complimented Fort Mercer. Huh.
Well, let's keep on keeping on here. Looks like we just follow the road as normal. We'll be at Fort Mercer soon, because this little winding way lets you know that you're on the right track. And looks like we are riding above the storm now. Starting to dissipate. Imagine actually having to ride through that on a horse, and the horse is absolutely terrified of the circumstances. Like, what would you do if you got thrown off? Yep, Fort Mercer. Looks like there's something else over here, too, and the path toward, pathway just ends. Hmm. Seems like that's where we would see people. We can also try and get an um, aerial view of everything now that we have binoculars. I think that could work out well. It's very green. Oh, hi there. Wild horsey. Hold up. Easy now. Just trying to get a look at everything. Uh, binoculars. Right? I should. There we go. Well, looks like we got some... Oh, that's that, um... Ooh, that's where all the unpleasantness happened. I forgot the name of it, though. Got a building there in the distance. I remember there was kind of like a Spanish mission against those rocks and a cave where we would talk to West Dis Dickens. Wow. Wow. Got a lot of exploring to do, guys. I'm excited. Hope you are. Hope you all are too. First, eh, Fort Mercer. There you are. And looks like there are some people. Minding the store. Well, I don't know if John is willing to get shot out in front of Fort Mercer. Again. <laughs> So I'll tell you what we're going to do. I think we're going to end the episode here. When we get back, uh, we'll check out Fort Mercer and continue our exploration. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.